Mount Batten residence. Hugo here. Hi, uh, Hugo. It's TGV. How are you? Oh, hello, dear boy. I'm splendid. Just enjoying a lovely sunset and some pims at my villa. Oh wow, that, that, that's that's great. All right, for some, uh, I'm I'm stuck in here, working indoors as always. Uh, anyway, the, the the reason I'm calling you is because I have two things. Uh, firstly, can you please thank Poppy for returning my Rolex Day Date that you borrowed? Who on earth is that? You know, your personal assistant. Who? The person who follows you around all the time and does everything for you. Oh yes, of course. Secondly, the, the liquor store is all shut here, so I was wondering if you would be so kind to send a few bottles, um, considering you stole, I mean, sorry, I mean, uh, borrowed <laughs> most of my collection here. I just haven't got the time, I'm afraid. Why don't you have one of those delectable brownies I recently sent? Um... <laughs> No, absolutely not. You couldn't just send a few bottles in your private jet? Terribly sorry, TGV, but Tiddlywinks, the Triceratops, my main squeeze. Uh, borrowed it for the weekend. Wait, how does Tiddlywinks, a Triceratops, fit into a private jet? Um, how does that even work? Never you mind. Anyway, Mustache Stephen is popping around for tennis. Uh, Stephen? Spielberg, darling, Spielberg. Oh, right, right. Um, are you doing another one of those park movies? Uh, actually, perhaps you could ask him if he has uh, any vodka to spare. Um, mustache, tulip. Wait, wait, Hugo, before you go. Uh, but, but, but my drink. My, hello? Hello? Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you that you can now receive a special discount on your next watch from Watchbox. Check the description below for a promo code exclusively for the good gentry. For those of you new to the channel, Watchbox are the world's leading, most trusted and respected dealers in pre-owned luxury watches. Onwards and upwards. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Now today, uh, I was scheduled to review the latest Amiga Seamaster, the No Time to Die James Bond watch. But unfortunately, with the ongoing situation, it's no longer possible to physically get a hold of one. Uh, you see, what happens is the PR company that handles relations uh, between people like me, reviewers, watch magazines, and uh, big brands like Amiga, they simply can't get a hold of the watches set aside specifically for review. Uh, so we're just gonna have to wait. Um, but instead, considering the military connection of Amiga Seamaster, you know, being supplied to the SBS, the SAS, and of course, James Bond himself, and the new um, addition of military markings on the dial, it's uh, kind of vintage inspired aesthetics, even though it is rather divisive with that faux patina. I have to say, I'm not a fan. Again, I haven't seen it in person yet, uh, so my perceptions could change. But the point is, instead I thought I'd focus on nine watches with a significant military connection uh, and talk about them, because at the end of the day, the new Bond watch is, what is the retail price? Around nine to $10,000. That is a lot of money. And you can buy some truly amazing timepieces with just as much uh, historicity and uh, connections to elite special forces, um, all kinds of navies from around the world, all the rest of it. So I thought I'd focus on that today. Now, Quick wristwatch check. I am wearing one of the watches featured. I'm not gonna get too close. I wanna see if you can guess what it is. Comments down below. It does come in quite high up on the list. Anyway, without further ado, and before I rabbit on too much, let's um, get into the actual video.
In the late 1960s, watch case manufacturer EPSA came up with a revolutionary new sealing method that actually became more watertight the deeper the watch went. Basically, the deeper you go, the more pressure was applied to the case back, pressing it against the O-ring gasket, and the super compressor diver was born. The cross-hatch engraved dual crowns and internal dive timing bezel was copied by many brands, and this design combination became iconic. There was some single crown with external bezel super compressors too, but they did not become as synonymous with the more well-known super compressor style. The most notable brands during the super compressor craze of the 60s and early 70s that used the dual crown design included Wittenauer, Benrus, Hamilton, Lip, IWC, Longines, Gérard Perigot, Bulova, Dro, Blancpain, Butcher, Tissot, Universal Genève, and of course, JLC, to name a few. While many know JLC as one of the finest Swiss horology watchmakers, or the watchmaker's watchmaker to be more precise, they are no stranger to making watches for the military. Perhaps the most famous example is during World War II. They were among 12 different companies that supplied the timekeeping instruments to the British Army, often marked with a broad arrow sign that was then mimicked by Omega in the new Bond watch. These watches are often referred to as the Dirty Dozen. So when it came time to make a new super compressor in the late 2000s, JLC directly collaborated with the US Navy SEALs to utilize the compressor technology for an ultra robust new generation of automatic watches. These were designed to withstand the extreme conditions of missions accomplished by the US Navy's elite special operations force. What is unique about these modern incarnations is that you have all the inherent in-house produced quality and mastery of watchmaking, but in a highly masculine, tough and bold watch. The stencil styled lettering and shapes and materials, it is undoubtedly very modern. It's also half the price on the used market compared to your typical pre-owned Rolex sub or the new Bond watch for that matter. Turner is a Swiss luxury brand we have covered on the channel in the very early days. To recap quickly, they are important for many big contributions to the history of horology, but mainly for two things. Firstly, the five circles in their logo is a reference to the 1948 invention of the friction reducing ball bearing mounted rotor system and production of the Eternomatic. This was a subtle but important change to automatic watches and made them dramatically more efficient. This would soon be adopted by the entire watch industry. And then secondly, they are also famed for the crew members of the Kentucky expedition wearing their watches. In 1947, Thor Heyerdahl and five crew members set out on a journey from South America to Polynesia on a wooden raft called the Contiki. They set out to prove the possibility of contact between the civilizations of these two regions in ancient times. To honor this historic voyage, Eterna would go on to name their subsequent dive watches Contiki. The Eterna Super Contiki automatic dive watches were then sold in small quantities to the Israeli Defense Force in the 1970s following the Yom Kippur War. They were issued to the Sheyatet 13 Commandos, the Israeli counterpart of the US Navy SEALs. These watches were used for diving missions and were decommissioned in the early 1990s for more precise and less expensive quartz-based diving watches. Eterna still makes very similar watches to this day under their heritage collection and with updated contemporary materials and newer ETA movements. They are classic, extremely well made, highly overlooked, and average for around a few grand each. No list of dive watches could be complete without mentioning the progenitor of all military diving watches. If you missed my review video that discussed the history of Panerai, let me summarize quickly. Panerai, if you haven't guessed already, was originally Italian, from a place very close to my heart, Florence. 
Now it is part of the super luxury Swiss conglomerate Richemont. The Florence-based workshop produced wrist-worn diving instruments between 1935 to 1970, most of them to the Italian Marina Militare. Panerai watches were originally designed and manufactured by Rolex, with the dials made by the Panerai family, which were rendered with luminous radiomere, a highly radioactive radium-based self-luminous compound. During World War II, these cushion-shaped Art Deco-styled oversized watches with California dials were then issued to the infamous and daring frogman of the Decima Fotilia Mass forever immortalizing Panerai into a military legend. Panerai have come a long way since then, and while they are now Swiss made, they have evolved into a highly desired luxury commodity and status symbol, favored by the rich and famous. However, their intrinsic distinctive cushion shaped look still remains, and prices vary anywhere from three to 10K and beyond. If you want the newer in-house calibers, and the various complications that are now available. Rather shamefully, it certainly has been a while since we featured a Doxa on the channel, especially considering how many firsts they have contributed to the history of dive watches. Originally, this Swiss watchmaker specialized in dress watches, but the company then decided to focus its attention on the development of dive watches in the 1960s. Doxa then consulted with divers, including Jacques Cousteau himself, and the then chairman of the US divers, Claude Wesley. After years of research and testing by a specialist team of divers and engineers, the Sub 300T was the result. Tests indicated that an orange face was more visible in murky water, with its now iconic and instantly recognizable 300 meter water resistant curvaceous shaped case and bright neon orange dial, it became an instant hit with professional divers and as a result was soon issued by the US Navy and the French Marine Nationale to their combat divers, along with being purchased by the Swiss armed forces for their engineers. It even became a cinematic star when worn by Robert Redford during the 1970s and more recently by Matthew McConaughey in his portrayal of Dirk Pitt. A modern Sub 300T can still be purchased, new to this day, with many vintage period correct examples ranging from a few grand to substantially more for rarer and military used versions on the pre-owned market. Zinn may be better known for their aviation pieces, after all they were founded by an aviator watch pioneer and pilot, but their reputation and ability to make the highest quality of watches has earned them a well-deserved place in this list. Zinn had already been well established for the manufacturing of navigation clocks, pilot chronographs and even eventually being worn by a German astronaut in space before turning their attention to developing dive watches. As is so typical with so many German brands, their commitment to manufacturing the best of anything soon extended to these dive watches and they are some of the toughest watches in the industry. When it came to issuing a timepiece for Germany's KSM, which is an elite unit of the German Navy made of commando frogmen known as Kampfschwimmer, naturally Zinn was the choice. The temperature compensated quartz based UXS has several of Zinn's own proprietary technology that sets it apart from the competition. Firstly, the case is made from tegmented hardened German submarine steel and coated with a scratch resistant ceramic layer. Secondly, inside the case is what they call hydro technology, meaning it is filled with a special silicon oil. The incompressibility of the oil gives the watch an exceptional water resistance, with the movement being rated up to 5,000 meters and the case 12,000 meters. Another advantage of this oil is the optical effect, where the hands and dial appear flat, even underwater maximizing legibility and minimizing distortion. The watch is then completed with a mission countdown timer bezel and a highly contrasting white, red, black color scheme that simply screams, it's here to do business. 
Typically, you'd expect to pay around two to three grand for one of these. Later on, they were also issued to the GSG-9, which are a special tactical unit of the German Federal Police. And for a few hundred dollars more, you can actually get a version of this watch with the GSG insignia on the dial in a complimentary red. Again, we see a watch featured in the early days of the channel. Citizen unequivocally is renowned for its professional diving watches, but few are as renowned in its arsenal as the automatic NY0040. With its unusual left side crown, modest size, 90s style and an almost brutalist aesthetic, it became the choice of Italy's Marina Militare in the 90s up until the early 2000s. While it has been discontinued and replaced by the NY0081 and 85, you can still pick them up on the pre-owned market for an absolute steal. Obviously, the military versions are more expensive and highly desired, but they are essentially identical to the civilian versions, simply without the Marina Militare printed on the dial. Inside is the 8203 movement by Miyota, which happens to be owned by the Citizen Group, making it essentially a completely in-house manufactured watch. The fully luminous dial and sunburst blue variants are still widely available pre-owned and offers tremendous value for money, starting at around $200 and upwards. The Canadian-based Swiss-made marathon timepieces are without a doubt some of the best made and underrated military spec watches on the market today. In fact, they make only military watches, with either officially issued sterile dials or branded versions for the civilian market. This historic brand has been independent and in the hands of the same family for four generations since 1904. They have a plethora of watches to cater to all styles and budgets, from pilot to field and, of course, divers. The Marathon GSAR, meaning Government Issued Search and Rescue, is a stainless steel 300 meter diver that you can get in either quartz, an ETA automatic and in different sizes or finishes. It has one of the most unapologetically functional aesthetics you can find and very fittingly they are built like absolute tanks. An interesting and distinctive trait found in all of their watches is the consistent use of tritium gas tubes that ensure the luminescence is constantly glowing for up to 25 years. With compelling functional designs, consistent high quality and affordable prices, is it any wonder they have been issued around the world to Canadian military, the US military, the IDF, law enforcement and several US government agencies. Prices range from under a grand to several for the higher end models. I was very late to the Yema party. I really regret not owning one of these sooner. A few months ago, I finally reviewed their most iconic watch and fell completely in love and decided to pull the trigger. The aptly named Superman was originally released in 1963 and they are all entirely made in France, as Yema is indeed France's premier watchmaker. Soon after, they were then issued to France's Air Force pilots. But aside from this prestigious military connection, they have an amazingly rich history as a brand as covered in my recent review, including many space-going watches and chronographs worn by motor racing legends. The diver is unlike any other as it features a bezel locking mechanism incorporated into the screw down crown. This enables it to lock the bezel in the required position of your choosing without the need to fully unscrew the crown. It's an easy and effective way to prevent accidentally knocking the bezel and thus giving an incorrect reading. In a military context, when timing is everything and lives depend on it, this feature is even more crucial. But what is so lovable about these watches is the surprising classic elegant style, the beautiful execution and the availability in different sizes, either bronze or steel, various dials, and the choice of either affordable quartz under $500 or even a new completely in-house movement at just over a grand. 
During the making of this very video, Yema announced on their Instagram that the French Air Force would renew their relationship with the brand and once again we will see them being supplied to their elite pilots in the future. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most underappreciated diving legends on the market today. When talking about dive watches with military involvement, it is impossible not to mention Rolex and the extremely lusted after mill subs. However, it is precisely for this reason, demand by collectors with deep pockets, combined with their rarity, prices have skyrocketed, far beyond anything Amiga, or for that matter, any high-end dive watchmaker can offer. Thankfully, the same cannot be said about the little brother brand Tudor. Well, not yet at least. If you saw my special top 10 watchbooks video and my videos on Tudor Submariners, you would have seen just how many times Tudor has been selected to serve the needs of military organizations all over the world. But by far most numerous was the French Marine Nationale and then followed by the US Navy. In fact, the Tudor Submariner was issued to far more organizations and in far larger quantities than the Rolex sub ever was. While the more distinctive snowflake handed and square dials of the 721 and 716 subs are now well beyond 10 grand for a decent example in the used market, the later 79090 like mine or the smaller 79190 and the midsize and mini subs are still relatively accessible and hover around the 5k mark in terms of price. With the alluring looks and feel of vintage Submariners, often even with Rolex signed parts, they feature more affordable to run ETA automatic movements and are simply timeless in design. To a certain degree, they have a coolness to them that the sometimes ubiquitous Rolexes don't. Any true watch enthusiast will tell you they are not the poor man's Rolex. They can now stand proudly on their own as a legendary family of watches with a far richer and longer history of service with the military. And if you're something of an Anglophile or just appreciate British history, the Tudor name is something to be extremely proud of too. Okay, so there we have it. That's my top nine uh, favorite non-homage, more affordable alternatives to the Amiga Seamaster, the new Bond Seamaster. Do share yours in the comments below. Let's try and help out as many as we can. Uh, I know there are tons out there. I only had nine uh, recommendations. I know there's gonna be many, a whole, well, a never ending sea, <laughs> pardon the pun, of uh, military divers I haven't included so do share yours uh, below please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful and especially if you want to see more videos like this please do hit that like button as always thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one okay ciao we all work hard for our money so when it comes time to spend it on a luxury watch the best way to take your money furthest is to buy pre-owned with some dealers, this might be risky, but not at Watchbox. As a former customer, it was only natural I became part of the Watchbox family. I fell in love with the easy, safe and professional manner in which they do business. So why are they so highly regarded? Authenticity is always guaranteed. Every watch comes with a two-year warranty and Watchbox has their own in-house Swiss-trained expert watchmakers. They have a global presence and an unrivaled selection. It's simply the best way to buy, sell and trade your watches from the comfort of your own home anywhere around the world. With a team comprised of passionate watch enthusiasts. As an urban gentry viewer, you can also benefit from this wonderful partnership with Watchbox. They are generously offering all Gentry members and viewers exclusive discounts on their next purchase. Please check the description below for the promo code to enter on their website. Watchbox is not just the best option to consider, it's the future of buying and selling watches online.